Hey friends, uh, what's up? So I know this isn't exactly a traditional studio vlog, but I really want to catch you guys up. Um, I know that I haven't posted a studio vlog in quite some time, and the last video I posted, I'm pretty sure, was the in practice video where I did the eye studies. So a lot has happened since then. It is officially 2022, and I have some things to catch you up on. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to discuss a bit of what's been going on with me in the new year. So yeah, keep watching and hope you enjoy. So I'm pretty sure the last thing that you guys saw was like August. Um, I had finished doing the port, not portrait, the, um, the mural in Nashville. And I was entering into my shop update phase so my shop update was in october but i spent the entire month of september basically preparing for it um i did some halloween and fall themed pieces and that was my final earring update i am not making earrings anymore not for sale anyway not because i didn't have fun with that phase or that process I just think that I'm ready to move on from that creatively and realistically speaking, I can't commit myself to keeping the level of meticulous work that it requires on my own and be able to focus on those other things that I want to do creatively. So um, I've moved on from that. I do still have some in my shop, actually most of it is still in my shop, so if you're interested in any of that, you can absolutely go onto my shop right now and grab some. Um, I'll even give you like a little discount code, 15% off, um, check in the description if you're interested in that. So yeah, um, I really liked how the pieces came out, I thought that the patterns were all cool and really interesting, I really liked my Halloween. Um, launch this year but you know honestly like it didn't sell that well um and i wasn't really surprised by it because the update that i had done previously also wasn't like it just didn't live up to the amount of work that went into it which is also part of the reason why i'm no longer doing earrings <laughs> um but I'm, I'm glad that i got it knocked out and I made enough inventory that it kind of carried me over into this year, so um, it's not like I have to do a shop update anytime super soon, but I'm, I am hoping to try to get one in by March, but um, we'll discuss that at another time. Moving on, in November, uh, my friend Whitney got married in New Orleans, and since we're all double vaccinated and all of that, uh, I went ahead and attended and it was a great time. A much needed break from the quarantine life that I've been in for basically the past two years. I mean, I admit that after I had gotten vaccinated and things had kind of mellowed out around summertime, I eased myself back into um, like hanging out with friends a little more often. Um, still taking precautions, like I, I don't go outside without a mask, basically. And, um, you know, keeping the hand sanitizer on deck, washing hands, all of those things. But, yeah, once, once the colder weather hit, all that's been out of the window. So I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to do this before things started revving up again. But yeah, New Orleans was great. They, um check vaccination cards at the door for pretty much every establishment that we went into and overall it was just it was just a fun time um the other thing that happened in november is my friend ziggy released their project and i did the album cover art for them and i was just like I was really excited obviously about the project but i was also very excited about sharing the album art because um, I had worked on that for them I think like a year ago and I was really proud of it and we've just been kind of sitting on it <laughs> but the um, the album is really really good I'm gonna have it linked in the description as well if you are interested in 
hip hoppy vibey stoner music <laughs> definitely check them out the album is amazing i listen to it regularly it's worth your time and then december was basically the month of christmas If you've been following me for any amount of time, every year around Christmas, I turn into like a worker bee basically. And I'm just going a thousand on making Christmas gifts. So this year, um, because I'm self-employed now, <laughs> which also by the way, has been a really nice part of 2021. Like even though 2021 frankly wasn't much better than 2020, I can say that I definitely had some new experiences that I'm really proud of and I, I had like a pretty decently successful first year of self-employment. So anyway, with all that said, because I have so much time now and because I make my own schedule, I basically got to spend December making gifts and it was freaking awesome. I really needed it. Um, I think I would have been in a bit of a creative rut leading up to that and um, it was just nice coming up with ideas and working with my hands and um, I made a lot of really cool stuff that I'm really proud of. Um, everyone seemed to love their gifts and I still actually have my sister's gift right here that I need to deliver. Um, yeah, I made a, a ton, <laughs> a ton of stuff this year. So some of the highlights of Christmas this year were the possum that I made for my friend Ashley. Um, she loved it. Um, I also made figurines of my friend's cats and I made them into like tree ornaments. And that was a really fun project, especially, um, it's like as I got deeper and she has four cats, right? So it was like with every new cat, it was just getting better and better. <laughs> so I was really proud of those when they were finally done. Um, I also did a coaster set for my family that moved out of town, so like they live in another state now and I very rarely get to see them. Um, that's not relevant. It's not relevant information. For my sister's family, I made them a custom coaster set and I was obsessed with this project. So um, I did a portrait of each of them on their own coasters and I added one extra in just to make it a nice round number so that it was like five instead of four coasters, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I did the coasters, I did a cork backing by hand, and then I stained and um, decorated a box for them to keep them in, so it's like also a keepsake box. It has like a little magnet latch and stuff, it's really cute. But um, that was such a fun project and it came out really, really good. And when they opened it on Christmas, they FaceTimed me. I wish I had like taken a screen recording of it because it was honestly just like the cutest watching them react to it. I love watching people respond <laughs> when I make gifts. But um, yeah, so they love that. Um, I also made some earrings for a few of my friends. And I also did a Sailor Moon painting for one of my friends. And um, I also made an incense holder for another one of my friends. And um, yeah, in general, I've just been worker be me. <laughs> um, but Christmas Day was awesome. I got some really great stuff. Um, my boyfriend got me a lot of very thoughtful gifts, um, a lot of organizational related stuff, which is great for me because I love that type of stuff. Like I got this new keyboard and it's so super cute and it's wireless so it's been great because I can sit up when I'm working on my computer instead of like hunching over it like a troll. But um, I got him some pretty sweet things as well. Um, I'm gonna insert a clip here. Cause that's definitely one of those things you gotta open right side up. Really? 
nerd. <laughs> See, it was a pretty, it was a pretty great holiday, um, despite COVID kind of killing the party as it tends to do. It seems like almost everyone I know either had COVID or came in contact with someone who had COVID over Christmas week, and um, it apparently has not slowed down. I frankly have not been out of the house since Christmas. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously I've done like grocery store runs, but besides that, I haven't seen anyone since Christmas. So <sighs> it'll probably be like that through most of winter and I am mentally preparing for quarantining basically all over again. Um, but New Year's was quiet and perfect just spent time with Khalil playing Animal Crossing. A, the Animal Crossing DLC is worth your time. If you enjoy playing Animal Crossing, you'll enjoy the DLC. It's really great. Um, but I've been really, really enjoying playing that because it's been um, creatively stimulating, but in a completely non-art related way, which I love finding little things like that that I can do to kind of stimulate that part of me but not have the pressure of it being something another thing that I'm working on this year <laughs> so yeah um, like I mentioned before every New Year's I get extremely introspective and this year was no exception I spent the first week really doing a lot of self audit um, not only from my feelings and thoughts about this past year, but just what I'm doing moving forward. You know, like I'm going to be 33 in March and I'm just getting to that point in my life where I have to make really assertive decisions if I'm going to live in my authenticity. So since I'm coming down from this creative burst that I had in December, um, I'm sort of re-channeling that energy into my planning for this year. So this week I've been setting goals and writing out plans and actionable steps that can help me reach those goals. And I'm hoping to make this year an exercise in consistency and self-care. So my top three goals of this year, and I do have more than this, but I'm just going to share three with you guys for now. My first goal is to give attention to my overall health, but especially my mental health. Um, it's probably no surprise that the past couple of years has taken a bit of a toll on my mental and my emotional well-being, as I'm sure is it has on many of you guys. But um, I'm really ready to take my control back of those things and find a way to just keep it moving. Try to make the most of the situation. So yeah, getting doctor's appointments, hopefully doing therapy, um, and just creating habits that will help take care of my mind and, you know, my heart space. I think that is going to be probably my top priority for the year. Next is to make time for creativity as close to daily as possible. Um, I don't think it's realistic to say that I'm going to be making something every single day, but I do think that it's fair and realistic to strive to stimulate my creativity on a day-to-day -day basis. So whether that's playing Animal Crossing or drawing in my sketchbook or working on a new project or coming up with ideas and planning for YouTube videos or content. Um, I really want to strive to work that muscle as consistently and regularly as possible just so that it becomes more second nature and I'm not struggling with getting back on track the way that I have this past year. And with that in mind, my third goal is to build habits and break habits that will lead to me building my consistency and making that muscle stronger. One of those things is developing a schedule for myself. Right now, I kind of fly by the seat of my ass, if I'm being honest, and I clearly need some structure, some level of structure. So I really want to work on building that out, but I'm giving myself 
basically the year to figure out what that looks like. I want to do something that's realistic for me, um, that's going to keep me on track, but also not be so strict that it's like interfering with my ability to enjoy the fact that I am in a position where I can make my schedule and use my time the way that I want. And you know, that doesn't always mean work. So I want to make more time to be present and enjoy my life outside of my career and all those things so that I don't, I don't miss it, you know? I don't want to be looking back and wishing that I had given more time to the present. So I obviously have more goals than this and a lot of them are very personal, but I really didn't want to overwhelm myself this year with big lofty goals or an abundance of goals because what I am trying to do is build and set milestones to kind of help me get to what my ultimate goals are going to be. I'm not going to reach all of my wildest dreams in one year. I mean, I may. It's possible. Technically. Statistically speaking, it's possible. But realistically, I'm trying to focus on what milestones can help me get to those bigger loftier goals so habit building and setting creating routines for myself and giving myself the attention that i need so that i can be the healthiest version of myself and the happiest version of myself i'm sorry for all the changes in lighting the sun is definitely setting at the moment that's my fault for filming so late i just feel like i'm getting to the place in my life where i really have to make sure that the decisions that i'm making and the environment that i'm in the steps that i'm taking um they're all in alignment with who i want to be and i have a very clear vision of the girl that I want to be, the woman that I want to be, and she's confident and empowered and thriving and abundant and capable. And um, I really want to embody those things this year and from now on. So baby steps and patience. <laughs> so yeah, I... I think that's gonna be it for this video. It was nice catching up. I hope that you all are doing well. Please let me know in the comments how your holiday season went. Um, what what are your, some of your goals for the new year? I'd love to hear some of your new year's goals. Um, maybe it can be some discussion that we have in a future video. But yeah, I hope that you all are doing well and are healthy and safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>